apartment you and Matt had in the East Village? Yes, of course I remember. Let's see. I thought that you were really hot, but also that you would maybe murder me in my sleep one day. Shut up. You want one tea bag or two? That's it? You just, you thought I was hot. Yeah, I mean, I had never seen you naked before. That was a great night. I miss New York. When we were there, you missed L.A. Okay, I remember looking at you that night and thinking you weren't like anyone I'd ever met before. I thought that you were very special. Do you want honey? One tea bag and yeah, honey. Aren't you gonna ask me what I thought? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, here's your tea. You really need to get rid of this couch. I can't do that, I'm sorry. Well, it's old like and it's it disgusting, and even Goodwill would reject it at this point, so I think it's time for you to take it upon yourself. To just do whatever you want me to do at all times of the day? Yeah. Please. Oh shit, what time is it? Maddie's out front. I told him he could ride with us to Malibu. We really need to find him a girlfriend. What about your cousin? Willa? She'd eat him up like a praying mantis. Hi, are you a mine? Hey, I made it. Let me in. I, I slept at Owen's, actually. Sorry. But I left you a key under the flower pot. We're leaving soon, so just meet us in Malibu. Gotta get you some sun before Willa gets here, you know? You look like Tilda Swinton. Do you want some? No, I don't. So good. I don't like it. It's gross. Everyone puts their hands in there. But it's the good stuff. No, it's not. It's all in your teeth. So when does your hot cousin get here? Okay, no. She literally just moved here. Do not go pulling a mat on her. It will not end well for you. She's hot. She is hot. <laughs> And she's coming, right? Yeah, she's in an Uber. Are you happy? Happy! Hey, oh, hi. <laughs> Glad you guys made it. Would you like a beer? Yeah, thanks. I'd love one. Thanks. Cool. Honestly, I gotta be so bad. Wanna bet you break the seal before I do? If you win, I'll convince Hallie to talk you up with Willa. And if I win, you have to uh, give me your bank bros password. Deal. You are one lucky. You know that? Okay. What? I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, you're free. You're free. I wish I was. You wish you were free. All right, Ted Nugent. Well, you want to know what I do with my freedom? Last night, I ate an entire rotisserie chicken and diarrhea like 12 times. I only had three hours sleep because I had such bad diarrhea. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I love you. What was that? What are you guys doing? Don't be crazy. What, do you think he's photogenic? I, I think know, that, this. I'm honestly, you embarrass me in front of my friends. Stop being crazy and have fun. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I am so sorry, Willa! Wait, how do you know my name? Oh, we've met, uh, several times. I'm Owen's best friend, Matt. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm just really bad with names and places. So, like, people? Yeah, I guess. Now we really know each other.
Hey, hey, why are you acting so weird? I'm fine. Maybe it was just a what, You don't want to watch the fireworks with you? This is a way better spot. The walk is going to be worth it. You're insane. I mean, are you serious? You're actually insane. I don't feel great, and I want to go, and I want you to want to go, too. It's the 4th of July. Can't we just... Can we just celebrate the Declaration of Independence without you having a manic episode? I also think I left a candle burning and it's haunted me all afternoon. That's never happened. That never happened. Happened that, once. That happened once in your I life. I can't and nothing... focus on anything else. Okay, also lower your voice, okay? Everybody can hear us. Nobody can hear us. Nobody cares. Everybody's outside watching the fireworks display, which, by the way, I would like to be doing right now. Okay, people can hear us and it's embarrassing for both of us. Stop pretending you care about something just so you can be mad about it. I'm not. You know what? Why don't you learn how to apologize without having a whole comeback? Fight at every party. I honestly feel like I'm like 14. This is too exciting. <laughs> Just me? Okay, cool. I like those ones. Oh, glitter. Yeah. It's complicated. I'll fall asleep to whatever you want. Hey. Wait. Hey. Okay, so how do we know each other? Oh, uh, well, Owen, Hallie, and I went to school in New York, so I, I guess probably when you came to visit sometime, maybe. Okay, I vaguely remember that. Yeah, uh, yeah you guys came over to me and Owen's place in East Village after some party, and you and I hung out and drank up and lager while it snowed and watched the sun come up. I mean, yeah, I, th I think it was, I, I don't really remember, it was, it was a long time ago. No, yes, wait! That was the first night that Hallie and Owen hooked up, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Wait, where are they anyway? Oh, Owen just texted me. They had to leave. Yeah, I should probably get going soon, too. I just remembered. I left my car at Owen's. Do you think maybe I could get a ride? Yeah, I don't have a car. I'm just Ubering for right now. Oh, well, you want me to get us one back to the mainland? I mean, I'm on the way to Hallie's. You can drop me. OK. Um, but split it with me, because I'm sure it's Expensive. No, stop. Don't be silly. Are you sure? Yeah, honestly, my treat. You know what time I think it is? What? How about this, huh? <laughs> a little bit of swivel hips. <laughs> you like when I uh, get down for you, mama? Like that? <laughs> Gonna get nice and deep for you tonight, baby. There you go. Nice and deep. Good angles. Stop! <laughs> You're insane. You gotta have the rhythm, you, you know? You have a lot of rhythm. <laughs> You're done. You're done. <laughs> I didn't shower. Should I? Yeah. Oh, f They're increasing the rent to this place in September. I'm not gonna be able to afford this. I'm probably gonna have to move. I'm sorry, that's awful. Between the rent for this place, my student loans, my Propecia, I can't. Well, one way you could keep living here is if I moved in officially. I mean, I know we haven't we haven't talked about it in a while. Um, and I know it's not your favorite subject, but let's just move in together. I mean, I love Clara, but I'm too old for a roommate, and I'm over here all the time anyway. It just kind of makes sense, you know? <sighs> oh, 
Yeah, me and Owen both did. What about you? What did you move out here for? Well, I've been living in New York since school, but I'm actually going to grad school in September. Pomplet, USC. Wow, I'm impressed. I've read maybe four whole books in my entire life, and I would not know how to compare them. So. <laughs> I wouldn't admit that. <laughs> oh, uh, this is me. Thanks. Oh, you live here? Yeah, it's my spot. Yeah, night. It was it was nice to see you again. Um, hey, let me get your number real quick. Yeah, sure. Sorry. Purple Devil. I use that one a lot. <laughs> parents place actually they're out of town at the moment Ooh, we've got the house to ourselves okay you have to take off those flip-flops the uber back from malibu cost no joke 137 dollars wait, like, wait, wait how quickly did you come dude just tell me how quick how quick was it it was like 45 seconds oh that's actually longer than i would have i apologize guessed. and we watched shark tank oh my god you guys are Vile, you know that? Maggie, I met an amazing girl. Yeah, you sound like Jimmy Stewart the way you're talking about her. He legit just hooked up with this girl. And he's talking about how much he loves her. You're like, it's less than 24 hours ago. And you're talking about how she's your quote unquote future wife. You oh. psycho, you, you poor think, psycho. You think I just met her? She and I had this unbelievable before sunrise level night like five years ago. We just finally reconnected. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Cause she has no recollection of that night ever happening. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Owen, you shouldn't talk. This guy, this guy plagiarized dashboard confessional All lyrics right. and said you wrote them about me, so. Well, number one, I had a very big crush on you. Number two, it was ninth grade. Huge. Number three, the dashboard lyrics articulated something that 14-year-old me wasn't able to articulate at the time. Honestly, I haven't liked anyone this much since, I don't know, since Rachel Flagelman. Flagelman, the girl who every time you guys did would lick your Yeah. Jesus. What? Hey. Thinking is part of the human experience. I don't want to hear more about that. Are you out of your mind right Maggie, now? Maggie, how are you? What's going on? Oh my god, I'm so good. You look great. I can't can't believe you're pregnant. Thanks. Thanks, man. <laughs> Literally two seconds pregnant. How are you? How's your lady, Hallie? She's good. She's really good. I mean, she just asked me to move in the other night, and I didn't know what to say, and that was obviously not a good reaction on my part. Buddy, that's not a good sign. I don't know, it feels like we're on autopilot or something. You know what I mean? And it's like when you say a word over and over and over again and it starts to lose its meaning. If that's where it feels like we're at. Listen, you're scared, that's okay. It's not love, unless you're scared. Jakob, hey, it's Willa. No, I was just calling to see if we were going to that thing Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll hang out soon. Bye. It's that Target commercial kind of voice. It's kind of huggies, it's more dove. And it gets you in the mood for love. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry he's in love with you, but you know, it, it's, it's cute that he's calling. He's like, taking charge. Yeah, it's just so weird when you're texting and then they just call. Hey Matt, what's up? I am so sorry I'm late. I couldn't find parking anywhere. I literally ended up parking at a fire hydrant. Oh, nice, you got a car. Are you sure you don't want to find a better spot? No, it's fine. I do it all the time. Sorry. 
Hold on, I'm so rude. One sec. I'm done. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Is everything okay? Yeah, no. Have you seen this OJ show? I'm obsessed. Wait, the eight hour doc or the uh, the Cuba okay. Gooding Jr. one? The doc. How good is it? No, it's amazing. <laughs> no, right? Uh, what do you want to drink? Uh, vodka water. Like a vodka soda, but with water. Wow. Got it. Kind of intense. Um, yeah, could I get a vodka water, please? And a uh, whatever just the lightest beer you have. Thank you. Me dating somebody since I'm literally afraid to check my ATM balance, but <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, like, uh, are, are you guys actually dating? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. Does she know that? Keep my because usually when you're dating somebody, that's like a mutual consensual decision, that's not like a thing, it's that's not like a made up thing in somebody's head, you know. <laughs> Just saying. Early days, you know. I, don't know. I think breakfast is serious. I mean, I wouldn't say that we're dating. So, so what are you doing? Just, you know, hanging out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yikes! If I heard a guy I liked be like, "Yeah, we're hanging out," I would literally be like, <laughs> "Like, kill me right there." Well, we're lucky you're not single. I don't want to be single. I mean, like, I do, but I don't. <laughs> and I don't. That's what that's not about. We are lucky you are not single. They'd, like, hold your hand or touch you, and you'd be like, we're dating! I feel like when you meet someone, you know if you're gonna love them or not. What, you went straight into we're married? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> I literally, I assumed we were together from, like, the, the night we had sex. I don't know, his his idea of when we started dating from my idea, it's not like months or days difference. It's like, like we're talking like gaps of years that he thought we weren't together, that we were fully together. I'm like, if we're not together, what else are you doing? We're together every night. So, uh, uh, Jesus, you guys are f <laughs> What? I feel, I want to say, I could be drunk. <laughs> A photograph of mine got into this group show that's gonna be in a month. Oh my god, that's so cool. Congrats. Yeah, I sent it in like... Keep talking, I'm just getting a little sip of water. You want? I'm listening. No, uh, I'm good. Never mind. You know, I think I've done editing the bar mitzvah video, so I can finally get that check. The parents loved it, though. They still have to show it to the bar mitzvah boy before we picture lock, but I think that's just the formality. Good morning. You know, last week I read an article that women in prison are more violent than men when it's that time of the month. They'll literally just start beating each other up and sometimes they even murder each other because of periods. What did we say about fast talking in the morning? We don't like it. Okay, that's enough. What? You're like grinding your boner all over me. That's not, that's not because of you. That's not a sex boner. That's just a, a, a night morning phone. Oh, thank you so much for clarifying.
Are you actually still working on that bar mitzvah video? Yeah. And the guy's paying me to reopen the edit because his son had more notes. Kid thinks he's the next freaking Kubrick. You want to watch the next cut with me in a little? Not really. I honestly think it was better yesterday, but what the do I know? I'm just the editor, right? So that's it. We're just we're just done talking about it. <laughs> can we just can we just watch? I don't want to watch. No, really, because I have for the to, tenth I have, time. It's, it's, okay. I want to talk. Said. So you just flat out don't want to live with me. I mean, I'm sorry, but I just think it's a little weird that you're not even considering it. Of course I've considered it, just... Oh, thank what? you so much. I'm sorry you don't want to move in, but thank you for considering it. Are you gonna just hang on to the one thing that I've said? Because that's what people do when they want to fight, so you just want to... I, 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 I want to solve this, oh, okay? You're I such really... an... Don't you think if we moved in, we would never move out? Don't you want to have things to build towards or, or things to look forward to or th maybe there are things we're missing out on or things that we want to try, like, I, before we... <sighs> look. I love you. You know I love you. Right now, I'm just... I'm not... I'm not ready to settle down. I'm, I'm just not talking not. about settling down. I'm talking about living together. I, I, I love you. I, I love you too. I just, I, yeah. I don't want to force it, I, I guess. Exactly. I don't want to force it either. Okay, but what are you saying when, when you say that? Because it sounds like you're saying you want to have like, like a break or something. Well, okay, things haven't felt right. You know that things yeah, haven't I know felt how right. Things, things have haven't felt, felt right. Okay, so, I know. I, okay, so you know. Right. So then, I, I don't want to move in together. I just, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't. And what if I hadn't said anything, huh? We'd just be laying in bed watching your stupid bar mitzvah video for the 20th time? We were in a and now you're breaking up with me and it's like we fight all the time and it's you don't not, just get to break don't, up with please me. Please don't say that. Please don't say break up. It's not what this is. This is just me needing time. I just need time. Some time of not being together. <laughs> Will you stay over? <laughs> You know, you want to be alone? Then be alone! You're all right? Last from the past. Maybe we shouldn't tell Matt about this. Matt who? <laughs> Never mind. Hey, do you wanna um get brunch? Um Do a shot with me. 
gross. That's from Clara's birthday like two years ago, and plus it's 3 p.m. Yeah, exactly. It's 3 p.m. and you're staring at the trees like you're in a Cymbalta commercial. Rilla? I am on a break with the guy who I thought I was going to marry. Please, just give me some other time. Okay, I'm sorry. Look, I just want to make you happy. What will make you happy? <laughs> There's my girl. Ugh. Thank you. <sighs> Can we look at pictures of sushi on Yelp? Yeah, come here. Like international crisis happens, everyone's a little more on edge because Donald Trump is president. And fair enough. And fair enough for a good cause. But I always try Dude, to. Dude, are you wearing him. a bandana? Sure am. I got a membership at Gold's. Did a couple circuits before I got here. Come on in. Wait, you're eating already? I thought we were getting lunch. Bro, I waited an hour and a half yesterday for this bad boy. Don't want it to go to waste, you know? Oh, you lost a couple pinos there. Hey, pass me the wrench right in your um, side compartment right there. <laughs> Besides, you would all have to be skinny for, you know what I mean? Let's talk about the facts, okay? The little one would never let me keep my sauces in the car, but now I have them for easy access whenever I want. <laughs> Look, I, I love you, and, and I know you and Hallie just broke up, but this is not good, all right? You're gonna fall into a hole. You said you wanted freedom. You should really use it right. All right, you're doing a whole lot of talking about me. What about Willa? What's going on with you guys? You haven't talked about her the whole minute you've been in the car. I'm amazed. <laughs> it's uh, it's good. It's actually, yeah, it's, it's actually really good. She, um, she and I had the how many people have you slept with conversation the other day, which usually sucks, but it turns out we're both at nine. And she just turned to me in bed and said, I love that we're each other's tents. What? Stop. Really? What? Nine. No. What? Nine. Yes. Come on. Who do you think she is? Ten people total? <laughs> yeah, like maybe ten people last Christmas over the holiday break. Shut up. Okay, let me tell you something, pal, all right? Will is like a goddess. She's like a sex goddess. The girl is like top three most beautiful women I've ever seen in real life. Why are we still in Let me ask you, wait, wait, let me just ask you a question first. Did you give the number and then she agreed with you? Or did she give the number first? You gave the number and she agreed with you. What? Breaks my heart that I'm right all the time. It smells really weird in here. It's the smell of freedom, my friend. So, I was gonna say, what are you up to today? I have a surprise for us. I'll bring vodka water. Or is it weird if I don't acknowledge the Owen and Hallie situation? Yo, you sound straight up like a murderer when you overthink it this much. <laughs> Stop, there. Can you just please write it for me? Mm, you know what, it's fine. Oh, she's typing? That's good, right? That, or is it bad that she hasn't waited? I don't know what the rules are anymore. Okay, wait, no, the typing bubble has gone now. This is your face when you cry. <laughs> well, how do you know? <laughs> Stop! Stop! So you're really not gonna tell me? Nope. We'll see. Here he is. What do you mean here he is? Are we doing a drug deal? <laughs> Just trust me, alright? Come on. Oh, we're getting into his car, okay. Huh? Hey, what's up guys? I'm Adam. So, would you mind explaining to Willa what we're doing here? Because she has no idea. Well, Willa, we're gonna go on the OJ tour. What? The OJ Simpson murder tour. It's vodka water. Do it. All right, we're gonna just jump straight into the tour here. Across the street is Paul Revere Middle School. Now, this is where OJ Simpson and Nicole's daughter had a dance recital on the night of June 12, 1994. If you remember from the uh, court case, OJ was found not guilty of the murders. For the purposes of our tour, we're just gonna say that he did it. The night of the murders, the Coles family is the Dexter's girlfriend quit. Who wears a size zero around here? How he does. Get her a dress. Dexter. 
This is Hallie, my assistant. She's replacing your girlfriend. Hi. Oh! Nice to meet you. Dexter. I know. Shall we? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I honestly prefer to season one, actually. What about those scenes you do in space? Like, how do you how do you shoot that? I mean, obviously you're not in space, duh. Um, but do they have you like flying up in the air or something? Or do they... You know what, this may be a little forward, but um, you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Don't you have a girlfriend? We're, uh, we're kind of in a rough patch, if I'm being honest. How do you mean? I mean, I love Owen. I, his name's Owen, and, and I love him. I just, I don't know, things are so weird right now. We might be moving in together, though, which I think, I think could help. <laughs> I think we just need some, some newness, you know? Hey, guys, they're ready for you. OK, act like you have a secret. No, like, like you have a secret. That's phenomenal. Cheers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just one photo, and it is a big group show, but who knows, maybe it'll sell. I'm actually a bit of an amateur photographer myself. <laughs> oh, what, like your Instagram? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, like with all the fans of the show. No, I was kidding. I, I could take a picture of anything mm -hmm. I see, right? <laughs> and as soon as I post it, like 100 likes, <laughs> 500 likes, <laughs> 1,000. Guys like everything. <laughs> um, can I click refresh? Yeah, do it. <laughs> Crazy. This guy. Hey, look, don't worry about it. I deal with this kind of thing all the time. He probably wants a picture or something. Just let me do the talk. What's up, man? Wow, okay. You know, she made me watch your stupid little show and I actually liked it. I didn't want to, but I did. But not anymore. You just lost a viewer in me, buddy boy, okay? I will no longer be using Hallie's mother's HBO Go password. Luck with season four. Is that the boyfriend you mentioned? Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, man. Can I, can I give you a dollar for a cigarette? You can just have one. Oh, thanks. I'm sorry. Can, can I get a lighter too? I can't believe she brought up here. Or, bye. Excuse me? Huh? Now we're on this whole true crime kick. Did you know the movie theater I work at is like fully haunted? Wait, what? Mm -hmm. In the 90s, the owner was murdered by a hitman who was hired by the projectionist, his lover, because he thought he was in the will. Unreal. Mm -hmm. How do people still think that they can be the beneficiary of a murder victim shit, have them killed, <laughs> and that they won't be busted by the cops within one second? I don't know, right? Wait, who is it? Uh, Hallie. She says, almost back with the actor. Sorry for the short notice. Um, can you respond all good? Sure, what's your passcode? One, two, three, four. <laughs> wow, crack security system you got there. I have nothing to hide. Also, should we leave? Oh, I didn't realize you guys were here. Hi. 
Come on, looks like we got a full house over here. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, guys. Hey, we're just about to bounce. <laughs> Are you doing cat cow? Just one sec. I'm almost there. Oh, yeah. Okay. You ready? Oh, yeah. I was just very intimately <coughs> associated with whatever's happening there. Let's just go to mine. Oh, man. I wish I could stay the night. Uh, bye. I'm sorry, were we, were we too loud? No, no, you're all, I mean, yeah, but no. Um, do you actually have a second to talk? Yeah, sure, what, what's going on? Um, okay, I know this is so weird and out of the blue, but um, Thad asked me to move in with him. Australia Thad? Yeah, he's like moving here to be with me. Oh my God, Clara, congrats. It's so annoying, isn't it? I'm the worst. Oh my God, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for mm -hmm. you. I, I heard you should banging. Give me that little box that can pop it, will it, pal? Hold the wheel, will it? How far are you going? I think it's cute you made me a mixtape. <laughs> it's like we're in eighth grade. Are you making fun of me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I put that DJ DS song on here. Hmm? For our first night? Oh, our dry humping song. <laughs> yeah, well, they're actually playing pretty soon. Could be down. Dope. Okay, well, I, I should head out. I have to be. No. I, I got some stuff that they're. Oh, oh, don't. Wait, no. This is not gonna work. What? You're breaking up with me? Shut up. Sing that. <laughs> oh, no. This is not gonna work either. Nothing's good enough for you. Crystals. Wait, so your old landlord shipped over all this stuff? <laughs> he must have really liked you. Yeah, he had a crush on me, so he kept him for a while. Yo, what's up? What up? You stick your finger in Willis' butt last night or what? Oh, I'm sorry. I... Yo, dude, come on. Bro, do you believe this? Do I believe what? If Hallie Persky? She is, isn't she? Son of a. Honestly, I could tell at the 4th of July party that guy's been trying to for so long. First, that stupid. The spacecraft show and now yeah, this what are you talking about? Bro, I can see it on their Instagrams. They're commenting back and forth. Like dump, like dope sunset. <laughs> Dude, why are you so charged up? Honestly, his name should be a verb. Kapersky. Sample sentence. Hey, I just heard they broke up, so I'm gonna go persky the out of her. Yo, you need to relax, bro. Relax? Feel like I'm gonna stroke out. I feel like Leota at the end of Goodfellas. I'm seeing helicopters. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. Look, I I'm with Willow right now, so I can't really talk. Okay. Whatever Allie's up to, it's fine. I'm on a record-breaking streak of my own right now, so. Listen, mysterious and busy, my man. You feel me? I shall break your little heart in half. Oh, thank God you guys are here. This is so embarrassing. Nobody is here. How? What are you talking about? There are totally people here. Yeah, yeah but nobody that I invited. I mean, it's literally you guys and my boss that showed up for me everyone else. Brandon Sacknoff texted me being like, daddy can't find his keys, and then, oh, 
Shireen texted me being like, baby girl, I'm stuck with this guy, love you. I would literally do anything to be there. It's like, really, would you? I mean, my next show is just gonna be screen grabs of those text messages called Reasons Why My Friends Bailed on My Opening. We'll come to that one. Yep. Hallie, I want you to meet Lindsay. Hi. Lindsay lives in the house we shot Dexter in. And Lindsay, this is Hallie, my assistant. That house is beautiful. Thank you so much for letting us use it. Uh, I wish it was mine. I'm just house sitting for my godmother. I didn't even tell her you guys used it. So Lindsay, this is Hallie's photograph. It's the best one here as far as I'm concerned. Oh my god, thank you so much for saying that. I just wish my love life was going as well as my work life. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that. I think I've just had way too much wine. No, no, no. there's no such thing as too much wine. In fact, maybe we should get you some more. Yes, please. Let's go swimming. Come on. Ready? Sorry, I'll, I'll go in the back. Sorry. You, one of me, uh, I think he's dropping you off first. Anyway, so. I'm Eugene, by the way. Well, uh... Hi. Pleasure. Um, can we maybe not tell Owen about what just happened? Oh, I hate to totally lose his shit. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Owen? I can't wait to be neighbors. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna be the guy in the backyard blasting dashboard professional. You are never living that down no. here. Plagiarizer. Well, you have to admit, I was at least convincing at it. I would, you know, cross stuff out so it would seem like I'd make mistakes Hello, as buddy, I went on. They, they reminded me of the Zodiac letters. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I knew the whole time. I, I, but I've told you this. It was you're, sweet. You're comparing me to the Zodiac killer, but you're letting me live in your back house. Very mixed signals. So that's you, that back house right there. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Oh, Who's coffee? Nice. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, man. Ash. Hey. Owen. Oh yeah. Oh, this is this is our new tenant. Oh my god. Oh yeah, right. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you got a good one. Yeah. To deal with your parents uh they they do visual effects together uh, my mom's uh, a vfx producer and my dad's a vfx supervisor they work together that's cute <laughs> yeah they're like perfect <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, they're doing this new marvel movie in atlanta well when are they back i really want to meet them <laughs> sweet have you ever introduced them to a girl before what no i no i i just thought maybe Maybe it was like a, a little soon, but but no. If if I mean if, if you want to meet them, then then I'd love that. I mean, 
Yeah, they're back in like a month. Oh, perfect. Just in time for the wedding. Yeah, yeah I've never introduced them to a girlfriend before. Oh, I'm sorry, that, did I just ruin it? I, no. Well, I know we haven't had that conversation yet. No, this... no, no, it's all good. Oh! How could I forget? This is for you. Um, next CD. Um, you already gave me one. Do you remember? Are you okay? Oh, no, this, this is an extension of that one. Yeah, I made a playlist of like 40 something songs and this is everything I couldn't fit onto the first one. Because you can only do like 20 or 21 on a CD. Big Willa style. Mix number two. This time it's, it's personal. personal. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. So, uh, you want to get some breakfast? Um, I'm actually not hungry. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we could do like a, do a bagel run. We could get like a dozen or something bagels. It's a lot of bagels. I just remembered my laundry. Well, oh, where? We can, uh, we can go grab it. No, it'll get moldy and wrinkly. Um, I'm just gonna run and grab it. I, I will call you later. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I gotta go help Owen move in, so that's perfect. Want to get some food? I'm starving. Also, apparently Owen has a new place. Claire is here. Just come home. Hi, Willa. Okay, you guys ready? I can't believe we're gonna hear a song that you actually wrote. Sweet Virginia has to wait. Got a love sick heart on fire. Got a love sick heart on fire. All her friends know she's on a wire. Sweet spring makes her say the strangest things. She told Marie that she wasn't alive, fell into the arms of Phaedra Smile at the break of a cracking dawn on the west side high. So, Virginia stays at home like Doing all the simple household things Picking up the phone and letting it ring She plays and lovers are sweet so nice being back here. Honestly, Thade won't even let me smoke in the house. It's really annoying. Thank you so much. Willa, what are you doing? Are you texting Jakob? I thought you said you were done with him. Leave me alone. Let me live. Just forget about Jakob, okay? He's a dick. And he spells his name like Jacob. That is true. Just make it work with Matt. I mean, I know he's weird, but he is a good guy. And you're being stupid, okay? I mean, you have someone that wants to spend time with you. Okay, I am, I'm alone. Like, I am, I'm so alone. And to be honest, I just cannot hear you go on and on and on anymore about how Matt texts me too much. Matt just wants to eat bagels with me. Like, I'm too fragile right now, okay? Owen never wanted to just eat bagels with me. Favorite selfie face? <laughs> the classic, the pout. The classic pout from this Who's angle? this dude? I don't trust this guy. These ones okay. are super cute. We're done. <laughs> Can I plug my phone in? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, actually, I have an idea. Okay. Um, okay. Can I do a magic trick for you? Are you going to think I'm weird? Okay. Okay. Wait, is, was that a yes? You're just going to think I'm weird? <laughs> yes. Okay, let me, I got to get warmed up. Let me see. Um. Okay. 
pick a card. Don't show me though. I'm like actually really nervous. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You got it. Okay. Let's hope my powers are on point today because sometimes I'm a little off. Um, put it back right there. Okay. Take a look at it. Mm -hmm. Don't show me. No. Okay. You remember it. I remember. Because if you forget it, it does kind of make the magic not okay. as good. All right. Do you want me to shuffle? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. You are very suspicious. Oh my god. I thought you were more trusting of me. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna try and find your card out of all these. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna try and find it using my mouth, okay? I double check, there's nothing in my mouth? Okay. Okay, okay here we go. Well, there is, there's teeth and a tongue, but if you miss that, then you'll miss anything. Oh, 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 oh. Mm-hmm. No, it's not my car. What? It's not my car. Oh my god, what? <laughs> you okay? I'm so sorry, this has never happened to me before. Oh my god, wait, what? Oh my god, I feel so <laughs> ill. Wait, oh, my eyes are watering. <laughs> What the, how did you do that? <laughs> You're such a nerd. Thank you. I actually take that as a compliment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. You just did your laundry, isn't that why you left the other day? To get your laundry? Why don't you just tell me stuff? I'm sorry. Just, just tell me, okay? That I don't want to hang out or whatever. I, I don't want to hang out with you sometimes, you know? I, it's not true, you always want to hang out with me. Hey. Stop. Next time, I'll tell you I don't want to see your face anymore. I'll say, hey, go f*** yourself. You're bothering me and you're being an idiot. Good. I think that's what I want to hear. Okay. Stop acting like a right now. Which I know means slamming back three martinis in ten minutes. Hey, you guys are great. Uh, it's not as good as it looks. Uh, alright. I will see you later. Yeah. Here, I got it. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is that? Just, I have, oh, 
friend. New landlord. <laughs> so what, you're like, you're like jogging now? Guys hooked up. Stop. How's how's everything with Matt? Honestly, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Come on, I'm meeting Lindsay at six. Oh, my little lesbian. Gotta stop liking you and Hailey's Facebook photos. You know when you do that, it shows up on everybody's feed, right? You know she came here today? Showed up completely randomly out of nowhere? What is that? What is that move? It's a power move. Yeah, I, uh... I might have given Willie the address. It was you? Yeah, I'm sorry. She, I, she asked and I was... And you gave it to her? Whose side are you on? I'm sorry, man. She gets what she wants. I... You can't do that. You can't give out a man's address like that. You know, I feel like Will and I are kind of hitting a wall. Romantic fulfillment. I'm a serious and busy man. I've just, I've told you over and over and over. I'm serious and busy. It should be your mantra. You're way too available. I know, but... For once in your life, don't be. I don't know, it's just called being nice. It's not being nice, it's being available. Being nice is like opening doors for people and, and, and showing up to places on time. Being too available is when you see the little text bubble show up the second after you finish writing the text. Like, you can't do that. I know. Mysterious and busy. Real life example. Today. I go on a nice run. I come back. Hallie's waiting for me. Wearing my favorite dress. And I'm like, hello. <coughs> we start making out. We come in here. And I eat her. Exactly where you're sitting. Oh, lovely. Thank you. And that was it. That was the entire interaction. Because I'm mysterious and busy. You mind giving me another pour? Sure, bro. Yes, sir. Nope, you failed the test. Mysterious and busy test. You failed it. You're you failed asshole. it. I literally put it right here so I have access to it so I could just reach and pour. Would you like some? No, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm busy. Good. That was test number two. That one you passed. Dude, you know, worst. Go to the show, or? I don't know. I thought we could hang out for a sec. You know, I think DJ DS goes on at nine. So. Oh yeah, I don't want to be late right, for the I'm show. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. I'm sure they'll start late. Oh, you're serious? I was literally just trying to f you. What's going on? We're um, catching up. Cool. Cool. Got it. Why do you always reek of deli meat? See what I'm dealing with here? Caesar's? 
salad? Yeah. Oh my god. Holy <laughs> shit, girl. Come <laughs> here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta get that drink. Yeah, I mean, no worries. I've been busy. It's so good to see you. Yeah. Hey, man, Jakob. Hey, Matt. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice merch. The open. Um, good to meet you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. You want a drink? Hypothetically, if we were to get back together, uh, it it would be better because I've I've grown. Okay, well let me tell you something. If you think you can just break things off between us, so you can go on like a rum springer or something, and then come back and be like, oh, I've grown. You are in for a rude awakening, Owen. Hallie, that's not how I meant it. And besides, I'm kind of seeing someone. Okay, like, what, like in a in a real way? Yeah, like in a real way. This girl, so. You're dating a girl? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that was of interest to you. You know, no, you can answer the fine. phone. It's fine, it's not. But something might be wrong. Was, was it going on when, when, when you came over and I went down on you? Was what going on? So, yeah, it's the girl, yeah. I can't, I can't believe you're dating a girl and you're just telling me now. This is insane. Mom, you're killing me! Anyways, I've been doing a lot of thinking and at first I was so mad at you. I was, I was thinking like, how did I waste the first half of my 20s with this guy who I'm not gonna marry? Right. But then I realized, you know, that these, these last five years have been the opposite three. of- It's been three years. Have been the opposite of a waste. And that even if we hurt each other, it's, it's fine, it's all part of how we're gonna become the people we're gonna be, so I'm at peace. I, I f***ed up, okay? I shouldn't have said that I wanted a break. I was naive enough to think that it could be a break and not a, a break up. Oh, and just answer the phone. Yes, mother. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what, what channel TCM is. I can't talk, I'm, I'm with Hallie right now. No, actually. I don't know. I really don't know. She's dating a girl. Owen! I know, I know. You're right. Okay, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I love you. Did you just tell your mom I'm a lesbian? Why would you tell your mom that? It's fine. I also just want to say this non sequitur, but I, I, I did slightly resent the fact that you neglected to tell me that you were using my likeness in your photo gallery. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I mean, the photo may as well have been a picture of a pile of dog for all you cared. Maybe we should... Maybe the problem is that we kept in touch and that we slept together <laughs> okay. or that we're, okay. we're, we're, we're obviously <laughs> going at completely different speeds. So maybe let's just not talk for a while. Okay. You know, I just want to point out that I never put any pressure on you. I mean, yes, I wanted to move in together out of practicality. I wasn't secretly plotting a wedding. That was all you projecting.
So what's that uh, Yalka guy's deal? Some guy I know from New York. I saw your text with him. What are you talking about? I know I shouldn't have, but I looked in your phone a while back. Wait, you hacked into my phone? It was a moment of weakness, I'm sorry. It was so long ago, things with Jakob. It was like May. Also, it didn't even mean anything, so who cares? Whatever's been happening between us, whatever it's called, it's a big deal to me, all right? And maybe I'm crazy, maybe, maybe it shouldn't be, but it is. It's a big deal to me. Yeah, and it's a big deal to me too. I don't think it is, but that's fine. Obviously, you find yourself in these situations more often than I do, and you're a lot better at it than I am. I had a thing with this girl a while back. She went abroad, and the whole time I thought that maybe I'd have another shot when she came back. But then, I found out she dated like four other guys that year. And to me, she was the one that got away, but to her, I was... A Blip. I was just some guy she And I'm not mad at you. You don't owe me anything, but I don't know, I just think maybe we maybe we shouldn't do this anymore. What? No, what are you saying? I still sleep over? I feel like you're a whole section of my story and I'm like a footnote in yours. I promise you're not a I promise you're at least a chapter. <laughs> I'm so happy that you were the one to break it off with Willa and not the other way around. I thought she could have <laughs> prison shanked you and you would have stayed with her. Honestly, I, w I would just wish we were better at communicating, you know? It's like, you can never be inside someone else's head and... Well, I, I guess you wouldn't want to be. But... No, not unless you're a tarot card reader. I mean, she's got to communicate with you too, you know? Mm. Here's what it is. She's like, she's like a cat who keeps asking you to pet it and then... You do, and she just slips out of your hands and runs away. I don't think you've got to work on your analogy, <laughs> sweetheart. Oops. <laughs> go, under, go under. No, 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 no. Don't go what? any further. Easy, baby. <laughs> Cheers. I get it. Matt's too nice for you. I mean, it's not the cliche of I like... <laughs> I like nice guys. It's just that the nice guys turn out to be pretty needy. And then you realize, oh, he's being a... I think I'm just being an... You lost me. When will we get a chance to do this? If you, if you were with Hallie and I was with Willa. Yeah, I'm glad we broke up with our beautiful significant others so we can hang out with each other and strap the cotties to our hands. And <laughs> oh, in time my life. <laughs> That's what's sad. You really are having the time of your life. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe Hallie's dating a girl. I don't know. I think they were just hooking up. What, really? Yeah. She just told me they were dating. Like, she just, when I just saw her, she was like, we're dating. You should know. I was like, well, really? I'm dating her. And she, she's like trying to f with me? What is she doing? To be fair, you, you, you broke up with her. You're right, you're right. Jesus, am I the needy one in the Jakob situation? Am I his mat? Enough, Jakob. You only like him because he didn't text you back. I mean, technically I moved out here to go to grad school. Obviously, in the back of my mind, part of it was that Jakob would be out here. Mm. Hi, Felicity. Willa, we're all Felicity. Look, Jakob, okay? I've said it before, but Jakob's a dick, and
and that is my philosophy. <laughs> Your philosophy is that Jakob's a no, my philosophy is that if someone is not being nice to you, then you f drop them. I don't want to get back together and then just spend the rest of the time resenting each other all over again, you know? I don't, I don't think you ever find someone you don't resent. I mean, that's part of it. It's just find the person that you want to resent, you know? Hey, Matt. I don't know. I think you're overthinking it. It's easy to forget how hard it can be just to connect with someone. Yeah. It's like when you pass a parking space because you want one close to the restaurant, and then you circle the block <laughs> and you come back and it's gone. Okay. Honestly, really, in a lifetime, how many people do you truly connect with? Matt, Owen is not a parking space. <sighs> just, can you go talk to him? Please. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right there. You, uh, you, you want something? You want a drink? Uh, like, like what? Like, like tap water or something? Well, I actually went shopping and I have, um, San Pellegrino. Is San Pellegrino? What, are you like a, like a gondolier now? <sighs> Please. I actually have a sip, I, I forgot that. My last one. That's good. So, I, um, just basically, I just wanted to say again that I'm, I'm sorry for being so selfish and, um, I feel like everybody creates their own narrative <clears throat> in their head. And for whatever reason, I felt like I was somebody who needed to explore things. And the more lonely I got, the more I realized that was something I didn't actually feel, but convinced myself that I needed to feel it. And maybe that's the same thing. I don't even know the difference anymore. Oh, and, and I, I didn't just, come here I, for some big apology. I just came here to talk.
Will you move in with me? Sorry, what? Or move in with you where? Here? Why don't we for once let the fact that something is a bad idea stop us from doing no, it? No, it doesn't have to be here. It could be it could be anywhere. We can get our own place together. Your place kidding. is just transitional. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I know I know I ruined everything. I know that. I know I'm at all I know that I'm an idiot. I'm really, really ready now. I'm I'm truly like I I'm ready, I promise. Well, I, I thought you said this place is just transitional. Look, I, I cleaned out half my closet for you. Clean you out the you bathroom moved floor. your four shirts like over on a, on a rail. Well, to some people, that's significant. I cleaned the bathroom, I bought flowers, and I put them in this vase, and I swiffered the floor for you, and... I've never made a copy of a key in my entire life, and I made a copy of a key for you, so please... Hallie, please will you move in with me? No. I'm sorry, I just... I don't think we could ever go back. Seriously, not going to say anything about the new couch. <laughs> yeah, it was the first thing I noticed. I know it was the first thing you noticed. I didn't even say anything. You're so annoying. You're so annoying. <laughs> this is also this is outdoor furniture. This is not a couch. It's a day bed. It's. Is it not a couch? <laughs> Is it not something you sit on? <laughs> Doesn't that make it a couch? <laughs> oh.
Thank mm-hmm. you.